So now if we're going to use the code that has been generated from this model, uh, we can do that by creating a new project. And in this case, we should use a plugin project because then we can add the existing generated code from uh, these projects as a dependency and we have access to the generated code. So maybe let's go to the Java perspective um, and then a new project. Here we want a plugin project. So this might be under plugin development, um, plugin project. We can give it this name. Uh, now there's a slight inconsistency with the DE versus the COM. Never mind. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, this is all fine. <clears throat> That's also fine. Uh, this will make contribution to the UI. We don't have to select that. Um, we can just, yeah, or it doesn't really matter. We could also say uh, finish simply directly. Um, now this is our plugin project, but now we need to add the dependency to the generated code here. So we can open the manifest, shows it in this editor, then we have dependencies and we need to add dependencies. We first need to add the uh, Eclipse eCore or Eclipse EMF eCore. This one, the general one, and then we need to add the specific one that we created. So it was our uh, Fogel IMF model, because that's where the code from our class diagram is generated into. So that's the one we want to use. And then we can create a new class and we can call it using EMF model and the package. We might want to use this package that's already suggested, it's fine. Um, and then we want to take this code, uh, just yeah, copy and paste. Uh, I don't want to type all this. Um, we see there are some issues here uh, because this is going to DE and the generated package here is actually uh, the uh, com, right? Great. Um, so probably should have changed it as it said. Let's change it and then regenerate. Uh, that should be fine. So we're going to change it here. Um, base package and instead of com we say de and then we say generate all and let's see if it works. We still have the old packages which is really not nice. Um, so one thing we might want to do is get rid of this source gen uh, because it doesn't clean up by itself and then say uh, generate all and it should fix it. Now we have exported some packages in the manifest. Uh, so these packages, of course, they don't exist anymore. So we also have to delete them here to say, well, we are not exporting them anymore. Um, yeah, that's only if you don't follow the tutorial directly. Okay, and that's how you fix these things. Now, um, these things here are not happy. Uh, why is this guy not happy? Ah, it's not happy because we're missing some attributes uh, that I also didn't implement because I wasn't following all the steps. <laughs> Here in the source gen, uh, we have the same issue. I mean, these things, we didn't touch them. They are generated, so we can just delete them completely. And then we regenerate this, so that should solve everything in our, um, in our regenerating this, should solve, solve everything uh, in the, in the editors uh, because they are they were completely generated so we can just delete them and regenerate now the editors work again but this thing uh, is still missing some of the attributes so we can we need the name and the title of my web and then title and pages um we don't have pages we have uh, web pages hmm 
So again, the way to fix this would be go to the class diagram here and change the name here to pages. That should fix that. And then we are missing some attributes. Um, of course, we could add all of them. Now let's have a look. So this is actually a good uh, experience in, in seeing how to debug this stuff. Uh, so we need name and title in web. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we add more attributes to web. This attribute would be name. The type is again a string. And then we said we also need the attribute title. A string. Then um, we might need to reload this. And then we can uh, regenerate. So now, well, we can regenerate all, uh, or we could just generate the model code because that's the one that we're actually using here. OK, so this now would compile. These things now exist. And now the only thing missing in web page is the title. So let's fix that in the class diagram. Uh, web page, we need a title, a string. Here we go. Um, okay, now it works. We didn't even need to reload. Um, now, what should happen if we if we do this? It prints a very generic uh, printout of, or a very generic two-string method of this web. Um, so we created this web, uh, and then we created this um, web page in it. The important thing here is the way that uh, we instantiate first the, the web page factory. So the first thing we have to do is uh, the instantiate basically uh, the, the factory that we're using. This one is the generated one uh, under web page. So there's only one uh, that is generated, and that's the default one. So this will allow us to create all of the classes from the class diagram. And then we can use this factory to say create web. This gives us an instance of web. Um, and it will actually, this web, remember, this was a generated interface. And this will actually, this create web will actually give us something very, very likely uh, an implementation here, this um, web impl instantiated. Uh, but it's actually encapsulating that. So we're not exactly sure what we get. We just get something that is compatible with this interface. And uh, this interface had the getters and setters. So we can set the attributes or get the attributes on uh, any of these objects and it will work as intended. Then the same thing we can also do here uh, with the, the web page. So all of the instances that we want to create from the, the generated code, from the classes in the class diagram, we should do that through the factory. Not even sure if we could do it um, here. What about the constructors? Uh, the constructors are protected. OK, so we probably couldn't even instantiate it easily um, from here without any, any further changes. So uh, we should always use the factories to create these um, instances. That's the way it's intended. And then, um, yeah, here we just do a simple to string, which is not, not showing us anything very interesting, just the default uh, to string that is generated here. 